Near Crystal City Tuesday morning, Nate D'Onofre paddling his canoe down the Mississippi River with his co-pilot wife, Krista, and their rescue dog. You know, statistically, what is it? Almost two dozen veterans a day kill themselves, disabled, you know, it's, and that's just one end. You know, there's, depression's hard. I mean, it, life is hard enough. And when you have a physical disability, you know, in our organization, sometimes we deal with people who haven't left the house in over a year. You know, it's, it's fear. Our biggest opinion, fear is the biggest disability there is. That's why we're called Courage Incorporated. But it's okay to have fear because you can't be brave if you're not scared. Nate D'Onofre was born without legs below the knees. But that's not stopping him from raising awareness and funds to help others with disabilities. Once we get out there and get in the current, we'll, fig we'll figure out what side of the river we need to stay on. Um, he's got much better eyes than mine. He can see a barge coming before I can. This daring duo began the trip 1,000 miles upriver, making their way to the Gulf of Mexico, some 2,500 miles of paddling, having to slog to shore through the muddy, mucky Mississippi River and her banks. Even more difficult for this double amputee. Occasionally, they'll meet river angels like this gentleman who bought them a meal. Nice people. That's the least I can do for them. I'm trying to get them to stay all nice so I can take them to breakfast. <laughs> and from what I researched, I'm the first American double amputee to ever do this, River. Um, you know, for one. And I say that very humbly. Um, I just want to inspire people, you know, with disabilities that they're not useless. They can do whatever they put their mind to. His day job with Courage Incorporated, taking those with disabilities on rustic outdoor journeys. You know, I, I, it's, it's a great thing to get outside and and do things, and I hope it inspires people to get outside and do something. In Crystal City, along the banks of the Mississippi River, Patrick Clark, Fox 2 News. Wow, that's quite a trip. Mm -hmm.